But today, this croc Casanova is in the mood for love, not war. But these females are already taken. The gang boss in this crocodile crew is sunning himself at the back of the beach. And he's a behemoth. 20 feet long, the length of a pickup truck, and weighing a colossal one ton. His size says that he's near 40 years old and could live past 80. Everything on this stretch of riverbank belongs to him. And he will show no mercy in defending it. This young male tried to steal food from the boss and paid the price for his mistake. He inflicted this brutal injury by clamping down on the smaller croc's upper jaw, his huge teeth severing flesh and snapping through bone before wrenching it clean off. In another animal, it would be a fatal wound but crocs have an immune system 10 times as effective as a human, with antibodies powerful enough to literally explode bacteria and heal even the most gruesome battlefield injuries. This guy is now at the back of the leftovers line. Around here, the best food and the girls belong to the one-ton boss. But our croc didn't read the memo. Has he got the chops to take on the boss? A Casanova Nile crocodile makes a move on one of the boss's girls but he's been seen. And the boss croc moves too. He punctures his love rival with teeth four inches long and shakes him like a rag doll. He then launches into a croc killer trademark, the death roll. With massive jaws locked onto his opponent, the boss spins his entire body. The roll generates monstrous force, like a bear trap with a 600-pound weight tied to it, wrenching on the smaller croc's side. It turns his flesh into mincemeat. And the boss croc isn't finished. He crushes Casanova's skull with a megabyte, applying 4,000 pounds of pressure strong enough to crush a mid-sized family car. Instead, he's food for the river's cannibal crocs.